Uh, hello everyone. I am Mohammad Safar uh, from Mechanical Engineering Department. I am Assistant Professor in a Engineering College, Halawal. So today we are going to discuss about the subject power generation. It is a semester subject, and the subject code is 8ME3A. So uh, we are continuing <coughs> the last lecture, and this is a lecture 15. So let's see. So today we are going to discuss about the Francis turbine. As you know that it's the first type of radial flow turbine, and further we'll see the diagram of Francis turbine. So water flow from the outward to inward via radial flow turbine. Francis turbine is the first reactor turbine. As we already discussed about what is reactor turbine. Reactor turbine is a turbine where the pressure is changes and the blade and also the nozzle. So. Uh, Francis turbine reaction turbine had the energy available at the inlet of the turbine is a combination of uh, kinetic and pressure energy. So, water pressure decreases as it passes through the turbine, imparting reaction to the turbine blades, making the turbine rotate. So, and next, uh, main part if you see the Francis turbine main parts, uh, they are casing, guide mechanism, funnel, and draft tube. They are casing, the function of casing is same as filter turbine, it's using two. Overcome the stressing problem of water and casing are not always full of water here. And the next is uh, the basic uh, difference between filter and Francis turbine here is this Francis turbine is always submerged in water. So that's the basic difference. Let's see the guide, uh, guide mechanism. It consists of a uh, stressing circular field on which the stressing guide vents are fixed. The guide vents allow the water to strike the vents of the owner without shock at the inlet. One hour, uh, the basic function of one hour is a circular wheel on which a series of curve radial guide vents are fixed. Draft tube, as you know, that is used for discharging water from outlet to the owner to the tailways. So, basically, the draft tube is used to decrease the pressure, and if you uh, not use the draft tube, then pressure, there is a bubble form that called cavitation effect and that can damage the turbine. So, draft tube is very important and Francis turbine. If you see the part of Francis turbine, here is a stability diagram of this. Uh, Francis turbine, you can see it consists of falling main pipe, guide wheels, runner, mobile vents are there, stress guide vents are there. So, if you see the uh, schematic view of Francis turbine is here, uh, where water is entering the radial direction, exit in the axial direction. So, it's a, a mixed a mix flow turbine. Okay. So, you can see the basic diagram, tailways are there, draft tube runner, stress vents are there, guide vents are there. We already discussed. So let's see the uh, application of Francis turbine. Uh, it's a useful wide range of head and flows. It's a medium flow reaction turbine. As you know that uh, the head is medium, uh, that is <coughs> 50 to 300. And also, the Francis turbine usually designed for its side to operation with the given water supply. Water has the highest possible efficiency, typical over 90%. Main advantage of this using hydraulic turbine is efficiency is more. That is almost is equal to 90 percent. It's a medium flow turbine and also medium stretch free speed turbine. So that's why this is useful while the <coughs> application. Let's you see the working of Francis turbine. Uh, workers are generally installed in the axial vertical and uh, water the central turbine to the expired casing as we can say and the water loses a part of its pressure in volume dispersal pressure in the stretch. As, uh, as I have told you, it's a reaction flow turbine to work at the anti of the turbine, the pressure is maximum and as if its pressure is minimum. And after passing through the turbine, uh, when it is directly strike to the blade of the runner, optimal angle as the water flow through the runner and its pressure angular moment reduces. Okay. So, uh, this is the reaction impaired to reaction of the runner and the power is transmitted to the turbine of the shaft. So, turbine is operating to the design. Condition of water leaves turn as the axial direction. So that's the basic thing of Francis turbine. If you see the history view of this Francis turbine, we have water entering into radial direction, exit it axial direction. At the end of this Francis turbine, you can see there is a draft tube. Is there? So Kaplan, uh, let, let's see the another type of turbine that's a Kaplan turbine. Uh, Kaplan turbine is axial flow reaction turbine, where the water entering the axial direction. And the water flows through the so first see the uh, basic uh, footing view of this Kaplan turbine here. Water is entering the axial direction, right? And it's a low head turbine, that's why. 
uh, <coughs> here water flow through the runner of the turbine and actual diaphragm and energy the inlet of the turbine is some of the kinetic and pressure energy so it's a mixed flow turbine is the axial flow reaction turbine shaft is vertical low end of shaft have both and best suited to a large quantity of low head water is available right and the kaplan turbine has propeller like blades and it's also cast but was just we was instead of displacing the water usually shaft power and creating axial thrust the axial force of the turbine at the blade of the turbine and that is the shaft so basically uh, kaplan type turbine also a popular type of turbine uh, there and main parts if you see the kaplan turbine is for casting guide wheel mechanism are we seen and the aft tubes are there that's the kaplan turbine if you see main part is for casting the rest draft tubes on a blade are there here we are always using draft tube but types of draft tube you can see the different so this is a basic uh, schematic diagram of this kaplan turbine here that's the axial flow turbine you can see the axis is vertical and the falling parts are there uh turbine at the shaft stator rotor generator we can get turbine blades for there you can see the basic so uh next is the working principle of the front turbine as we know that about the head of water is low so large water are allowed in the kaplan turbine is a low head turbine water enters the turbine through the guide vane and which are the lines such as give us the flow suitable diagram of swell determined according to the load of the turbine so axial for the water with a component of swell applies the force on the blades of the water and loses its momentum both linear and angular producing torque and rotation and the scheme of the product of hydroelectricity of the plant turbine is same as that of Francis turbine so if you see the kaplan overview here you can see the basic type of that's a pelton turbine this is a pelton this is a pelton turbine and if you see the draft tube it's a very important part we need to discuss about it's nothing but it's a simple tube with a gradual increasing area that uh, uh, area at the <coughs> uh, area at the entry of the turbine it's fitted in the exit of the turbine in the uh, area at the you know, uh, in a part of the turbine is the small and at the exit of the turbine is very large so we are basically maintaining the pressure difference for the draft tube okay so if you know to the draft tube then what will happen that the exit of the pressure turbine pressure is low and at what to pressure is high then high to low water flow on <coughs> opposite direction due to this uh, there is a uh, <coughs> pressure uh, low pressure area generated as you know that when the pressure is below the vapor pressure then cavitation effect form and it's a harmful for the our hydro turbine that's why to overcome this uh, cavitation effect we are using draft tube it creates a negative head of the turbine of the owner therefore increasing the net head of the turbine it's basically is going to be the net head of the turbine okay it can work the last purpose of injecting current energy into a useful pressure energy right so governing of turbine is also very much important that uh, Uh, we need to uh, govern the turbine that is a uh, particular speed uh, especially we need to reduce it and we need to enlarge it or accelerate it so governing is very much important at the uh, operation by which the uh, speed of the turbine is kept constant under the all condition of the working load this is done automatically by the governor which will the weight flow through the turbine according to the changing load of condition of the turbine It is absolutely necessary that the turbine is coupled to an electric generator, which is required to run and process speed. Okay, so uh, this is uh, we are going to end this lecture. That's uh, in today's lecture we have discussed about the type of turbine. That's uh, mainly three types of turbine. Uh, first is Pelton turbine, second Francis turbine, and <coughs> third is Kaplan turbine. and kaplan turbine is called also the propeller turbine the difference between the kaplan and propeller only the uh, fixing of blades if the blade is fixed that called kaplan uh, uh, propeller turbine and uh, if the blade is rotating allow the shaft that called the kaplan turbine so that's it uh, it's a very important part and after that we will discuss about the draft tube we have already discussed about the shaft strength in a previous lecture and uh, after that we are discussing about uh, the governing of turbine that's a very important part so let's see uh, we have ended this uh, like the uh, unit in this unit we have discussed various parts of uh, hydro turbine type of hydro turbine 
and lay out of hydraulic turbines and performance of hydraulic turbines are there. We have discussed already completely this. So thanks for this lecture. We'll see the last lecture. Thank you.